Cassowaries are distant relatives of emus and ostriches, left alone they're gentle fruit eaters, but they carry a lethal defensive weapon. They have a 12 centimeter long dagger-like claw, which combined with a karate kick has the potential to kill. And they will run at you and then with both feet they will just continually uh, try and, 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 and kick you. That cassowary is intent on doing that guy a lot of damage. Do you think, was that in captivity, you think? No, that, that was that, in the wild. Really? Yeah. Unbelievable. Despite their ferocity when cornered, these birds are also endangered, and it's a constant battle for people like Graham to protect them. We're going to try our luck at finding one in the wild in the Jiru National Park. This is properly dense forest. A fair, fair bit of um, vine and thorns and all sorts here. This stuff's an absolute pain in the neck when you're trying to get through the rainforest. Yeah, it's called wait a while. I have absolutely no idea why. <laughs> Look at that. And uh, this is why you can't move fast in the forest. If you get stuck on that, you have to take your time, go slow, wait a while. So what we're looking out for are signs and tracks. Yes. I mean, they, they could be just a couple of metres off the side of the track and you uh, wouldn't necessarily see them. The great thing about cassowaries is their camouflage. When they're young, they're brown. As they get bigger, they turn black. And if you look in the rainforest, you, you get the idea that, that at the ground level it is brown, and as it gets up, it gets a bit darker. So the big adults are just as good at hiding as the, um, as the young chicks are. Cassowaries are generally solitary birds and tend to be shy of human beings, which makes them tricky to find. After a morning searching, Graham has to return to work. But as I continue looking on my own, I get lucky. Just sitting in the shade down in front of me is a big female cassowary. And she is really big. Now, the last thing that I want to do is crowd her, so I'm just going to watch and see what she does. She's definitely aware of me. They're very, very driven by sound, these birds. In almost every situation in the wild, these birds would choose to move away from a human being, and where it starts to get dangerous is where they feel threatened, where they feel cornered. Seeing a big female cassowary in the wild is about the closest thing on the planet to seeing a real living dinosaur. When you look at them from the ground up, the feet just look like they've been taken from a velociraptor. Huge scaly toes and that pointed dagger-like toe which they use for defense. She's up and she's starting to move. very carefully now. Didn't expect to get that close to a wild cassowary. And seeing her making off into the undergrowth is a strangely prehistoric sight. I really thought it was touch and go that we'd even find a cassowary here. These birds are critically endangered. There are only a few thousand of them left on the planet. And to sit this close to one, being stared at by that electric blue-headed, beautiful-looking dinosaur, something I won't forget in a hurry. <laughs> 